Hello, just thought I'd do a little video on uh, Bobcat maintenance. I have a 2007 S205 Bobcat here. Just, I've seen some videos and seems like everybody misses some of the grease nipples. So I'm just going to show you so you don't miss any grease nipples on the machine. Pretty straightforward. Everybody knows about the pivot points. So your bucket pivot points, your round pivot points. There's one on each side of the bottom where your buck, bucket pivots. There's one on each side at the bottom of the ram. And there's one at each side at the top of the ram. You can see I've greased it already. I just, uh, while I was going through this, I thought I might as well show so that anybody who hasn't serviced one of these things before or hasn't uh, known where all the grease nipples are, I'm showing you. So that's there's six on the front on the bucket pivot and this is where people don't know flip up your cab <clears throat> take a look underneath it's not a bad idea to take a look inside anyway see if you got any leaks or anything anyways your drive so your your arms your arms for driving the machine they move that arm there and they sit on a pivot, so you can see that moving. Right there is a grease nipple on that pivot. Same thing on the other side. There's a grease nipple on that pivot. You can see the green grease on there. Those are two pivot points or two shafts that probably get missed by most people because you don't lift the cab to normally grease the machine every time you grease it. So anytime you have a chance to get it inside or on a nice day, flip up the cab, grease those grease nipples. Okay, so we've done the three on each side at the front. So now there's this arm. Inside of that arm, in the bottom, you can see a grease nipple. Follow that arm across. And in the other side at the bottom, there's a grease nipple. Those need to be greased. We'll move on to the next point that most people miss obviously the ram has a pivot point at the top i would assume it has a pivot point at the bottom they make a hole on the side of the machine to be able to do that you can't see in here very good because of my video so i'll go around the back and show you that pivot point so right there there's a grease nipple at the bottom of that ram there's also that hole in the far side over here that's the outside of the machine so if that grease nipple is pointed towards there which i got mine pointed back just it's easier easier to get at to me the other side on the other hand you have a battery in the way pretty hard to get to that bottom of that ram so i'll see if i can shine a light inside of here and there you can see that grease nipple so that's in the bottom you can see the pivot point right here obviously needs to be greased as well okay so that's top and bottom of that ram so now you got all your other pivot points you got that arm both both ends of that arm up in the top here you got a pivot point anywhere this thing pivots there's going to be a grease nipple they all should be greased regularly they say every 10 hours, I try to do mine sooner than that, every 5 or 6 hours, every day basically. If it gets used fairly well in one day, I grease it before it gets used again. So anyways, there's another pivot point. <clears throat> another pivot point. Oh, we see a grease nipple there again. So that's three on the bucket, one on this side of the arm. One on this side of the bottom arm, top and bottom of that ram, the back point, the top point, your pivot shaft for your steering. Now you haven't missed anything. Perfect. <clears throat> 